President Peter Obi, live in Mubi. Live in Mubi. Live in Mubi. Uh, good morning, guys. Happy New Month to you all. So, um, yesterday I did a video of Peter Obi in Newman, Adama State. So, Peter Obi was also in Mubi, in the same Adama State yesterday. And you needed to see the love on the faces of the people. The love, the hope. Mubi is located in the northern part of Adama State. We all know that um, Atiku Abubakar is from Adama and the presidential candidate of the PDP. But we found out something in Mubi yesterday. That since 2003, I hope you know that Mubi was one of the first towns to be attacked by Boko Haram in Adama State. Since 2003, Mubi people confirmed that Atiku Abubakar has not even stepped his foot in Mubi. This is somebody who is from Adama State. But he has never been to Mubi to even go and know how they are doing and all of it. But today, election is here and you want them to vote for you. You needed to see the hope on their faces. Because it was the first time a presidential candidate is going to see them as a people. Coming down to see the common man, which is what we all crave as citizens. Seeing our leader show empathy is very beautiful to behold because it gives you the assurance that tomorrow, when they are on seat, they will show compassion to the citizens and they will be able to know the problems of these citizens firsthand. So let me show you the video of Peter Obi in Mubi and the massive reception, uh, re reception he got. I will come back to we'll talk more about this. <laughs> Come back, guys. So that was Peter Obi in Mubi, Adamawa State, after he left Newman. Surprisingly, we also heard that Peter Obi went to Southern Gumbi. That same yesterday. Oh, well, this man's work rate is something else. So. The man's work rate is something else. And that's the kind of leader we need because of where Nigeria is today. We need somebody who can walk around the clock without getting tired. That's the only kind of person that can fix Nigeria. So he went to Southern Gumbi. That was the first place of, place of call yesterday, even before he now went to Adama. We didn't know about this. We just got to find out because it was uh, as if it's a secret something. So he covered all these places yesterday in Adama State. That is why he will always say that you need a president who is physically and mentally fit. 
and it's the truth. Because you take an old person, how can can any of the two other major candidates do this kind of rigorous work? You find out that they visit the capital, and when they visit the capital, before they campaign again, they will have to go and take some rest. But this one is doing his own back to back to back to back, and we are seeing the results. Going to the people, people that have been ad abandoned, people that people everybody have forgotten about, is going there, giving them a sense of hope, letting them know that don't worry. When we come into power, you will be carried along. You are remembered. You are part of Nigeria. That is what people want to see. Leaders with empathy. Leaders with compassion. Not those that feel that maybe some certain part of the country does not matter. These are people in Atiku's state. But Atiku have not stepped his leg there. To show you the kind of person he is. It's easy for everybody to come and make promises. But who will keep it? That's what we are looking for. Who can we trust? With the lean resources in Nigeria, who can we trust? That will not steal the, 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 the little remaining from us. So, I urge you all, get your PVCs. We just have 24 days to election. And this election is a make or mark, as far as I'm concerned. It's a make or mark election. Is it that we get it right? Or we continue suffering for another eight years? Now, so ask yourself the question Do you intend to go through what you're going through now? Are you enjoying what you're going through now? If you can answer these questions, then you know the right thing to do. Good morning.